Hi, thanks for joining me for VChat this week. Since I was a boy, I've enjoyed maps, looking at them, examining them, imagining the places they referenced. I remember when I was about 10 years old, traveling with my father once, sitting in the front seat as his navigator and using one of those old big uh, highway maps that uh, we all had back a few decades ago. and making sure that we knew exactly where we were as we traveled along exit by exit along the interstate. I thought it was wonderful. I still enjoy maps and like looking at them from all over the world, but particularly biblical maps, the maps that show where things happened in the Bible. And that's what we're going to be looking at this Sunday in our continuing series of questions and answers. Where did the biblical stories happen? And we're going to do a phenomenal review from Genesis to the end of the Bible again in one, in one day, but looking at the geography, where things took place. We'll see where Ur of the Chaldees was, where Abraham came from. And we'll continue on and go through the stories, even as far as how far Paul may have gone to Spain. Did he go to Spain? And if so, where might he have gone? And as we do this, we're going to see that the, the biblical world was about 3,000 miles wide and about 1,500 miles north to south. Not all of it was used in the biblical story, but it's a big world and we'll try to make some sense of it. For you who aren't map fans, I hope you'll come, you'll enjoy this. We're going to have a lot of fun just looking at and talking about the stories and where things happened. I think we'll have a great time together. So please join us at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. Thanks so much. I'll see you then. Bye for now.